Hi, Darren Kittleson here for the next issue of Coaching Corner. You know, today what I wanted to talk about is working to dispel beliefs that some of our agents might hold that aren't necessarily serving them. So I guess a term for that may be uh, beliefs that hold them back or beliefs that aren't serving you or or a belief that isn't moving you forward in your business. And, and let me give an example of that. And you, you've probably experienced this before. Uh, there's a statement that gets said quite often in our industry, well, that can't be done here. And I always find that interesting. In fact, I remember back uh, in the early days of uh, being in sales in this industry, uh, I was in a market that uh, no one, it was a really traditional market. And and most agents really built their business based on relationships they had because they've been long uh, family ties in that market. And I was this young guy that when I got hired, in fact, I had to convince my first manager to hire me. When she hired me, I had nothing uh, as far as a database at all. In fact, uh, my only, the only knowledge I had out of that market at the time was how to get from the house I was renting to the office that had just hired me. So I had no base whatsoever. And so really what I was faced with was building my business by lead generating. And it was, it was funny to me that there were a number of well-meaning established agents in my office at the time who uh, would hear me on the phone on a daily basis cold calling, calling for sale by owners, calling expired listings. And they would p pull me aside and they'd say, you know, we just don't do that here. That won't work in this market. And so those beliefs that they had that, uh, quite frankly, if I would have uh, been, uh, if I would have bought into them, would have prevented me from building my business as quickly as I had the opportunity to. And so for many times, what we do is we hear something and we hold that to be true. And what I just want to share with you is a technique in coaching where we, uh, we test those beliefs. And, and it's a simple question whatsoever. So if I'm consulting an agent and they go, you know what, I could never do that. Let me give you an example. I could never uh, call for sale by owners. And so when I hear something like that, you know, what it shows up is that that agent has a belief that they can't do that. And so the question I would ask is, you know, well, so tell me a little bit more about that. Why can't you call for sale by owners? Well, because they hate real estate agents. Go, so, okay, so for sale by owners are for sale by owner because they hate agents. Is that true? And they go, yes, it's true. I go, okay, so it's true for you. Now, let me ask you this. Have you ever seen a for sale by owner sign in a yard, maybe in your own neighborhood or in one of the areas that you're building your business in? And after a period of time, uh, another real estate agent's sign goes in that yard, meaning that for sale by owner listed with an agent. And they go, well, yeah, I have. I go, great. So think about that time. Now, if, if what you just said before was absolutely true, meaning for sale by owners, are for sale by owner because they will not work with the real estate agent, then how did that happen? See, so it may be true for you that for sale by owners won't list with an agent at this point. However, it's not absolutely true, is it? And they'll get, they'll start thinking, I go, well, no, I guess not. I go, in fact, you know, isn't it true that some for sale by owners do list with agents at some point? Well, yes, they do. Great. So is there an opportunity for you to reach out to those for sale by owners, those folks with the signs in the yard or they add on Craigslist, whatever uh, marketing uh, practice they're using. And in many cases, you may establish a relationship with that agent or with that seller in such a way that they will list with you. See, it's not absolutely true, is it? It may be true for you, it's just not an absolute. And the question about taking them in that process of identifying what's true for them and then questioning whether it's absolutely true may start moving them in a different direction on some of the beliefs I know our agents hold that may be holding them back from growing their business. So it's really testing that truth or belief, if you will, and helping them see that that uh, could have possibility in it. So I trust that makes sense. Uh, I want to thank you for spending just a couple of minutes with me today uh, in Coaching Corner. My name is Darren Kittleson. Have an awesome day.